once the dust settles, she'll have to let you spend time with her. You're still her uncle. Yeah, maybe. What, you don't think she will? No, it's Tegan, isn't it? You know what she's like. <laughs> Unfortunately. Oops. You shouldn't go there, should I? I've been wanting to tell you how great I think Ruby's been with Casey over the last couple of weeks. Like with his study. I mean, he's been going through a hard patch and I appreciate her keeping him on track. Yeah, I just hope all this hard work pays off for them both. We'll see. Either way, I'm pretty proud of him, mate. Eh? Takes a bit of courage to do what he's doing. So? 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 <laughs> you, um, maybe take this conversation back to my place? No. Let's keep it simple. We're just two locals having a friendly chat. Is that what we are? Friends? Friends is something I can explain if I have to. Anyway, um, I should go. Hey, hey. At least let me drive you home. You know what? I'll catch up with you later. Something going on that I should know about? No, I've just got to have a talk to these blokes. There's nothing. What do you want? Just wanted to know where you were if we needed to know. Yeah, you know. Yeah. That's all right. Trials doesn't mean you won't nail your final exams. Yeah, well, it's not exactly encouraging, though, is it? Yeah, but if you think about it, if you worked out your weakest subjects, now you're working on them, so really the hardest part's over. Look, there's still a lot I don't get, and it's not like you haven't tried to stuff it in my head over and over again. You know what? You need to talk to Dex about the maths because he's better at explaining it than me. What I need is to somehow fit a year's worth of study in the next two months. You know, don't take this the wrong way. But one good thing about Heath being away is that things might settle down enough for you to be able to study. Now we need is for Charlie and Brace to get back together and everything will be sweet. Yeah, no fat chance of that happening. Well, you never know. I mean, she's gone to see him now. She's not back yet. I spoke too soon. Uh, so, did you go see him? Yeah, I did. Is he all right? Oh, you know what, Casey? I think you should go home now. Charlie? No, Ruby, you need to concentrate on your own studies, okay? Is your phone off? No, it's out of charge. What's up? Oh, I just wanted to make sure you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? Ran into Jake's brother today. He was making a bit of noise. Oh, yeah? What about? Uh, about the kind of thing that could turn ugly if someone's stupid enough to listen. Great. So do I need to worry? No. No, you just let me know where you are from now on. You weren't here, you weren't answering your phone. All I could think about was what happened with Jake last week. Don't want it to happen again. Well, I'm fine. No one's come near me. So were you at Ruby's? Yeah. Was Charlie there? Yeah. How was she? Well, she wasn't impressed by you. Not that that's unusual. That was awful. Can you tell me what was going on yesterday? Oh, nothing. We were just having a little talk. Really? Because Hammer Pirovich doesn't have a reputation for being a very big talker. No, he doesn't, but he can string a few words together if he wants to show off. Are you just all business all the time, aren't you, Charlie? <laughs> I told you there's nothing to worry about. Like, so what? I still feel when I'm around you. It's intense. Okay. 
and there's no point pretending that I wasn't tempted to go home with you yesterday. Well, there's no point pretending I wasn't trying to tempt you. Well, that's why I'm here. To tell you that I was wrong about us being able to be friends. I can't do it. I want more than that. Well, I can't do it either. And I want more too. Look, Tegan is out of my life for good now. You now, Heath is out of the picture. Our problems aren't actually that bad. It's not even about other people. What then? The feelings that I have for you... Okay, I don't trust them. And don't trust them. Well, isn't this cosy? What are you doing out? You go ahead, Buckton, check on me. And when you're talking to your boss, remember to tell him who you're with and what you're doing. Can't believe it. My own brother's selling me out to the cops. How did you manage that? So, but not here for a family reunion. That's quite a show you put on when I went to jail. Almost thought you were sorry to see me go. I was. Now it's pretty obvious you helped put me there. You know, Tegan came to visit me when I was in jail. Told me what you'd done. And because I'm stupid, I told her to get stuffed. Guess I owe an apology, eh? Well, she was out of line coming to you. But she was honest. Mate, you know, you, you don't get to lecture me on honesty. What were you going to tell me about you and Tegan? Because I, I got that right, didn't I? You, you slept with my girlfriend. Your ex. Well, it doesn't make a difference. That's a line that brothers don't cross. They don't rat on each other either. Well, what do you want from me? I tried to do you a favour. Well, let me do you a favour. You see, you don't need to worry about me anymore. As far as I'm concerned, we're no longer brothers. I have my reasons, Heath. You need to listen. You need to listen. Don't touch me. Settle down, mate. Don't touch me. 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 You know what he did, huh? Our so-called brother here dumped me into the cops. He got me locked up. Yeah, all right. Just take it easy. You knew, didn't you? Both my brothers stabbed me. No, it wasn't like that. He's trying to save your life, Heath. Can't believe this. Some family, eh, boys? I told you, you were walking into an ambush. If I had to do something, because you wouldn't listen, it was going to be easier for me to get you out of jail than bury you when you get your face blown off. Thank you. Cheers. And I would have got you out, too, if you had taken off with Jake's pills. What? Mike! Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, wait, I just want to see how loud you squeal when I break both your legs. There's nothing to say to you or yeah? your brother, mate. What you did, huh? We know you trust me. Jake's got some settling to do with you. Good. Oi, but you boys want to take us on, you can take us all on. You just made my day, Braxton. Heath Braxton's out of jail? Yes, and he saw me with Brax. Oh, uh, well, how did he get out? I don't know, but he's the last person on earth I wanted to know about this. I'm an idiot. Oh, come on, Charlie, relax. I mean, what's he got to gain? Trust me, he'll find a way of using this against me. And what if he does? Well, I don't know, I could lose my job. Or worst case scenario, I could be charged with consorting with known criminals. Okay, well, Brax will stop him from telling, right? Yeah. What's Jake's gang got on you? I need to know. What difference does it make? Mate, if everything's gonna hit the fan, I wanna know why. He called you a squealer. Shut up, I know what he called me. It's what you turn witness. Don't call me a dog, mate, you can't talk. This isn't gonna go away. It's something you want to be pretty sure about. I know that, but I got a kid to think about now, don't I? Or what, you didn't think I'd take that seriously? Well, you don't know me as well as you thought. Well, Tegan's not gonna let you need Darcy anyway, Heath. Tegan doesn't have the right. I need to be on the outside and making a life for us. So you did a deal with the prosecution. Hey, mate, you wanted Jake to go away. I just finished the job. Get the boys out of it. Don't worry. You both sold out to the cops. I'll call that square. Yeah, for the right reasons? Yeah, for the right reasons. 
Well, listen, if these boys are going to come after us, we have to stick together. You didn't.